Today, a big update from the state that's shaping the way young readers learn. A state audit finds 10 universities and college, colleges in Ohio are not in compliance with requirements on teaching the science of reading. So those universities, you may have heard of them, they include Ohio State University, Ohio University, the University of Toledo, and Wright State University. Now the state will be working to make sure they are in compliance under state law. 10 TV political reporter Doug Pekash joins us live from the state house with more about what the findings mean and what those universities have to do now. Doug. Well, Jeff and Stacia, Governor DeWine announced the audit findings this morning. Early literacy is a major priority of his. He says overall universities are go doing a good job of teaching our future teachers to use the science of reading method, but some can do better. We know that the better a child can read, the more likely it is that they will succeed. And Governor DeWine believes the science of reading is the best way to teach young children to read. It uses phonics to build vocabulary by having students sound out words. We're making great strides in our K-12 through schools. We're not done. A law passed in 2023 requires teaching colleges and universities to align with the science of reading alone for instructing future teachers. The governor pointed out the results of the state audit, showing 33 schools in full alignment, five in partial alignment, and 10 not in alignment. So all 10 of these colleges were found to have at least one instance of using the banned training in their material. Ohio State University is 100% compliant on a long list of metrics for the science of reading, but did have several instances of using banned or outdated materials. An OSU spokesperson says the university is updating the material to fully comply, adding, Ohio State is committed to enhancing excellence in preparing the next generation of Ohio's teachers, with the science of reading serving as a cornerstone of our research and instructional practices. Ohio Education Association President Jeff Wensing says implementing Implementing the science of reading in Ohio's public schools is going fairly well. While he believes teachers are the best judge of what works for their students, he says the OEA appreciates the governor's focus on making sure kids become good readers. We believe that a focus on literacy will produce successful adults, lifelong learners, terrific readers. Now the clock is ticking for the universities to fully comply. If you can't read or can't read well and struggle, it's just it's very unfair. Each student has that right. And we have to look at this as a moral imperative, and we have to look at this as a right, and that's why we cannot deviate from this. That's why the governor says he's going to continue to drive this initiative for the last 13 months he's in office. The universities and colleges not in alignment will now have a year to prove that they've eliminated that banned or outdated material from the programs they're using to teach. And uh, if they don't, the state could revoke approval for those teaching programs. Again, they have a year to get that in compliance. At the State House, Doug Petcash, 10TV News.